What's up everybody? It's Brian with Next Projection and ProjectorScreen.com here today with another video in our 4K Ultra Short Throw Projector <laughs> Shootout Series. We're going to be taking different UST projectors and pitting them head to head against each other. We will be playing the same delicious looking content through both projectors with each unit set to the most comparable picture mode. Please keep in mind that what you're seeing in this video is a number of steps away from the in-person experience. So take into account, we're projection experts, not videographers. We're projecting a 4K HDR source. We're filming the reflection off of the screen with a 4K camera that does not record in HDR. We're compressing the video and uploading it to YouTube. You may or may not be watching this on a 4K display. If you want to get further into the visual nuances of each projector, check out the links in the description below. All of this is going to take place here in our well-lit showroom up against this 100-inch diagonal Grandview Dynamic UST ambient light rejecting projector screen. This shootout video today is going to be pitting the number one best-selling UST out there, the Optima Cinema XP2, up against a relative newcomer, the Epson LS500. Now, both of these are single laser-based units, while this utilizes a DLP chipset and the Epson utilizes a three LCD chipset. The Epson also comes in both a white chassis and a black chassis and has bundling options with both a 100 and 120 inch projector screen. So with no further ado, in this corner, weighing in at 3,000 lumens, we have the Optima Cinema XP2. And in this corner, weighing in at 4,000 lumens, we have the Epson LS500. All right, projectors, let's keep it clean. Let's get to your corners and let's do it. We're watching the LS500 in bright cinema mode and the P2 in standard mode. We chose these modes for the shootout because they're the most comparable between each other in terms of lumens and brightness. Right off the bat, you can see that the LS500 has a brighter, more vibrant image, while the P2's colors look a little bit more subdued. This is partially due to it being in bright cinema mode, which slightly oversaturates the colors in order to get that brighter image. Here, we can see that the colors just pop more on the Epson. The colors appear to be brighter and more vibrant. However, on the P2, you can see a sharper image, while the LS500 is just softer. This is a prime example of the differences between the DLP chip technology of the Optima P2 and the LCD chip technology of the Epson LS500. In a scene like this, where you have light in the background and dark in the foreground, you're going to see more information in the shadow details on the P2, and that's thanks to the DLP chip. Both of these projectors are doing a good job out of the box in terms of color accuracy, but the edge does go to the Optima's image in this scene. The skin tones, on the other hand, no pun intended, look very natural on the P2, where on the LS500, they just have this bit of a yellow push. In this scene, both images look good, though the Epson is definitely more vibrant. One thing I notice is that there's some banding on the bottom of the plate from the Epson's image, and there, there's just this splotchiness to it, where the P2 just seems to have better gradation. While the veggies on the Epson look extra vibrant because we're in the bright cinema mode, it's the colors on the P2 that just look significantly more accurate. You can see that there is a clear difference in brightness in this scene. Again, we're seeing much more vibrant colors coming from the Epson than the Optima, but by the converse, we're seeing a higher level of detail on the P2, specifically noticeable in the embossed ridges on the plate. This scene has a certain wow factor from the Epson. You have the white background being handled very well and not blowing anything out, while in the darker foreground, the Epson is still presenting a lot of pop. 
With the Optima, you're getting a little sharper line detail, but when you do the AB comparison between the two, the colors just look muted. The sharpness of the Optima's DLP chip really shows its superiority in the ice and in the caviar. On the Epson, those two elements just somewhat blend together. The motion handling of both of these units is really good. It feels like the scenes where there are vibrant colors, the Epson is handling them better, while with the more muted scenes, the Optima has the edge. In this scene, both projectors are doing an excellent job with all of the textures, but I still have to give the nod to the Optima in terms of overall level of detail. The LS500 definitely has more of a wow factor here in terms of the color. However, with the Optima and its higher level of detail, you can more clearly see the individual pieces of fruit. Contrast is looking good on both of these. The vibrancy of the Epson really gives more life to this image. All right, so now let's compare the specs. When it comes to brightness, the LS500 absolutely has the edge. It beats the Optima P2 by 1000 lumens and dominates the entire class, outshining all of the other USTs out there. When it comes to throw ratio, the Optima absolutely wins this. What does that mean? Well, it means the Optima can be positioned much closer to the screen than the Epson to make the same image size. One of the main differences is that the P2 uses a 0.47 inch DLP chipset, while Epson's image is powered by a three chip LCD. I give the P2 the edge here because the DLP offers a sharper image. However, if you are at all susceptible to the rainbow effect, then the Epson absolutely is the way to go. Both projectors are using a single laser light source, so neither one really has an edge in this regard. While it may not be evident in the video that we shot, when it comes to color, the LS500 is good, but just not as good as the P2. We measured significantly better sequential contrast on the Epson LS500 than on the Optima P2. When it comes to darker scenes and better black levels, this will certainly give the Epson an edge. When it comes to the sound, the P2 wins hands down. Epson's tiny 10 watt speakers just sound anemic compared to the full range 40 watt speakers on the Optima. If you plan on using the Epson, I would absolutely suggest using an external sound system. When it comes to price, the Optima again has the edge. With a MSRP of $32.99, it's $700 less expensive than the MSRP of $39.99 on the LS500. So, now it's time for the million dollar question. Which projector wins this shootout? While both projectors have their pros and cons, I am ultimately going to give the nod to the Optima P2. The P2 has a sharper image, wider color gamut, shorter throw distance, better audio, and a lower price tag. That being said, there are many circumstances where the LS500 would be the better choice for some people. It's brighter, can do a larger image, and has better contrast. The LS500 is also the ideal UST for serious gamers, as it has the lowest lag time of any of the USTs out there right now, clocking in at under 17 milliseconds. We know which one we like best, but we want to hear what you think. So please, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel for notifications of all of our new upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at projectorscreen.com.